do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve question number 20 neat physics paper 2016 student let us solve question number 20 a disk and a sphere of radius same radius we have a disk and a sphere a disk and a sphere of same radius r but different masses Suppose this is having mass is m1 and this is having mass m2. Rule of on two inclined planes of same altitude and length. That means let us allow them to roll like that. They roll like this. Same length, same height, altitude. Height is m. Which one of the two objects gets to the bottom of the plane first? So it is about who will win the race when the disc and the sphere are allowed to roll off. We know that both are released from rest, so both are having initial velocity zero. Therefore, the one which is having greater acceleration will. Uh, reach the bottom first that means the acceleration in case of body rolling it is given by g sin theta over 1 plus k square over r square okay g sin theta over 1 plus k square over r square where g is acceleration to gravity theta is the angle of inclination that is the the plane whatever angle this this is the plane making with the horizontal k is the radius of gyration and r is the radius of the object used which is rolling this expression we have to use and way to find which is having greater value of this a theta and g same for all these two objects for disk and sphere so this is the disk and this is the sphere so that means the acceleration is in directly proportional to this in one sense the one which is having greater this value this value if it is smaller then acceleration will be greater so we will check for k square or r square terms k square or r square for disk is how much disk is uh, for a disk of mass m m1 suppose and radius r anyway so we know that the moment of inertia is uh, i equals to m k square equals to m r square divided by 2 so here i have taken mass m1 so it is m1 m1 here so from here i am getting m1 k square equals to m1 r square by 2 m r square by 2 so m1 cancel r k square by r square equals to half which is equal to 0.5 This is for disk. What about for the sphere? For the sphere, k square over r square has to be found. If this is sphere, then uh, moment of inertia is two over five m r square. And that is equal to m k square. Here is m two, so no problem. M two will cancel out. K square or r square equals to two over five, which is equal to zero point four. 
So this is 0 0.4 for this pair. So the one having least value of k square over r square will have greatest value of acceleration and will accelerate first and reach the bottom first. This so k square or r square for sphere is greater than is less than I write that k square or r square for sphere is 0 0.4 and k square over r square for uh, disk is 0 0.5 so this is less than that this is for uh, sphere and this is for disk so as k square over r square for sphere is less than k square over r square for uh, disk this implies acceleration of sphere is greater than acceleration of disk this implies sphere will reach first so the answer will be sphere and uh, where you got this expression then let us derive that expression for you that i use the uh, formula a equals to g sine theta divided by one plus k square by r square so you must know how to get this expression we can use uh, conservation of energy that uh, if i have a sphere or any object suppose having mass m radius r this is an inclined plane and uh, over which this sphere has to roll down or any object with an angle theta so this, when this reaches the bottom it is having certain velocity and also it will have some omega because it is uh, rolling so in case of a rolling motion it will have both uh, kinetic energy of uh, translation and kinetic energy of rotation so the potential energy here at the highest point is only m g h this path is suppose uh, this length is s then uh, in this triangle s cos theta and sin theta s sin theta is my h that i can use now if i equate the energy at this place and that place so mg h h is s sin theta the potential energy here is converted to the kinetic energy of rolling and kinetic of rolling is consisting of kinetic energy of rotation plus kinetic energy translation and plus i omega square rotation if i solve this then i get uh, 1 by 2 m v square plus this is uh, i in matter this is m k square omega square m will uh, cancel or i can multiply 2 and divide 2 so that m by 2 will cancel and what is left is 2 g s sin theta this is equal to v square plus k square omega square so v equals to omega r so i can take uh, omega square can be v if i want to write this v is equal to omega r then v square is uh, omega square r square or i can write omega is equal to v by r so it is v square plus v square over r square so v square common it is 1 plus k square over r square this is 2g s sin theta 
So from here v square I'm getting 2gs sin theta over 1 plus k square over r square. But about the acceleration, to get the acceleration at that point, we'll use the equation v square is u square plus 2as. This is the acceleration in case of rolling. So to write this velocity in terms of rolling v square, I got 2gs sin theta. The last time I got this divided by 1 plus k square over r square. This is equal to, it is released from rest, so it is 0 plus 2at, the rolling, uh, a rolling, and s. This s and that s will cancel, this 2 and this 2 will cancel, then a rolling is equal to g sin theta over 1 plus k square by r square. This is how you get the expression and I use that expression there and uh, this acceleration is independent of mass of the object. It only depends upon its k square by r square factor. Okay, thank you.